Cause I am tired And alone Help me make it through the night Cause I don't like myself I have no personality I met a guy with cancer And he felt sorry for me I've never been a social guy I'm always making children cry I guess that's just the way it's meant to be I am scared and sad Help me make it through the day Cause there's nothing out there for me anymore Cause I'm always coming in last place And getting dirt kicked in my face And everyone pushes ahead of me And no one stops to care And I curse the gods each day in vain For giving me this life of pain When all I really need's a little hug Help me make it through the night I am tired and alone Help me make it through the night Cause I don't like myself Checking the mic, check, 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 test, one, two, one, two, check, check, check. Testing, testing, one, two, three, help, help, help. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.02 a.m. Alexa, volume 8. Alexa, what is the weather today? The current weather is 60 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Today's forecast has partly sunny weather with a high of 61 degrees and a low of 39 degrees. Okay. Hello everybody and welcome to Henry's Kitchen where today we're going to be making Henry's famous oven baked French toast casserole. Uh, you might remember this uh, famous dish. This is the very first dish that I ever made on YouTube. Um, it came out pretty good 
and uh, it's um, Mertbot Vader says, "What the fuck is a casserole, uh, Henry?" Uh, casserole is basically when you take a lot of different items, either from your cupboard or uh, from your refrigerator, things that you're not using, um, and you put them all in a baking dish and just cook them. So there's several different uh, types of casseroles. This is a sweet casserole. Uh, there's also savory casseroles. Um, this one is going to be a breakfast item as opposed to a lot of casseroles can be lunch or dinner. Uh, but, you know, you can name the casserole whatever you want. You can call it uh, leftovers casserole or um, canned food casserole, whatever you want to call it. But it's really, it really comes in handy when you're on the go and you're trying to figure out something that you can eat on the go. So uh, I just want to make sure, technically speaking, that everything's okay. You guys uh, can hear me okay. Check. Check. Help. Okay. Uh, Munch Hotel just resubscribed for two months. Thanks very much, Munch Hotel. Okay. As well as uh, Mochi's Nirvana. Good to see you, Mochi's Nirvana. Thanks for resubscribing. Mochi's Nirvana has a channel as well, and uh, it's, it's very entertaining. Hopefully you're doing some streaming there. Um, having my coffee. Everyone type force and says, apparently I snore so loudly that it scares everyone in the car. Okay. I'm driving. Any advice? Well, for first off, I don't know if you want to be... It sounds like maybe you're sleeping while you're driving. Not a good idea. I've done that. And you wake up and you're on a freeway and... It's, uh, it's terrifying. So, uh, be, you know, maybe pull it together a little bit there. Uh, but, you know, who am I to judge? Uh, Blurry Little Quest just resubscribed. Thanks, Blurry Little Quest. I think we, uh, uh, you have a song request in there, and I'm going to see if I can do it today. Um, why don't I start right off with a little bit of a Christmas song? Before we get into the recipe, just to get everybody into the Christmas spirit, do a little check on our uh, my cat roast beef. Sleeping as usual. Uh, but we're going to get them up a little later because we have a very exciting uh, thing. We're going to be finishing the game Stray, which is based on my cat, Roast Beef. And uh, we're going to get him up for that because that's going to be an exciting time. That's right, Falcon. Yeah, we've got the Stray backpack and we're going to put, him on, put it on him. And uh, he might be a little uncomfortable because... I got the largest uh, stray backpack that you can for a cat, and it still wasn't large enough for him. He's a very large cat, and uh, so it looks a little bit like uh, trying to put uh, a girdle on a balloon or something, where all the mass of it uh, just displaces into different parts of the balloon when you squeeze one end. Um, so, but we're going to do the best that we can. Uh, I'll show you uh, what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like that. So we're going to do the best that we can to get uh, roast beef into his backpack and get him to look like him when he was younger, I guess. Um, take a look at what we're going to be eating today. Some beautiful French toast casserole there. I'm not sure if I have the uh, the fruits that they have on top there, but I do have a little bit of jelly that's made out of that. So we might be able to just put that on there. Uh, all, you know, it's always a good idea to be doing some improvising, and we've done a lot on the fly here. Okay. Mastel just resubscribed for three months. Thanks, Mastel. Uh, it's one of the reasons... Um, that I prefer Twitch lately to YouTube. I mean, I'll always love making uh, videos and editing them, but 
Twitch is live. Uh, there's no covering things up. I know that when you see the YouTube videos, the food winds up coming out really good and slick. But that's trick photography mostly. Uh, in real life, it's difficult. It's very difficult. And, uh, you know, what you're seeing is what you're getting. And um, I also wanted to say that this month, I'm being sponsored by a pretty great okay. product called Every Plate. Uh, Giga Cat of Hell has resubscribed. Uh, there's a message here from Mastel too. It says, "Hi Henry, hi Mastel." Uh, getting better at reading the messages here. Uh, let, let me turn the heater off there. I don't want it to make much noise. Um. There was something else I was gonna say. Shit. Uh, oh yeah, I'm uh, I'm being sponsored this month by a great product called Every Plate. They've sent me the boxes. Uh, you might remember we did um, a sponsorship a couple months ago, which was Boxed Meals, which was great too. But this one uh, is especially great because they give you the ingredients and you cook it yourself at home. And it comes out uh, pretty good. So I'm going to be doing a demonstration of that probably tomorrow on a bonus stream. I'll start probably around noon. So uh, maybe you could check the Discord for updates on that. Um, but that's, that's okay. exciting. Dad Danny Dan just resubscribed for five months. And I want everybody to know, uh, you know, I haven't sold out. I wouldn't be... Uh, sponsored by a product uh, that I didn't think was good and I just want you to know that. Uh, I've been uh, twitching now for about six months and uh, it's been a very joyful experience and I feel like I've gotten to know uh, the, the people out there as friends, maybe even like close friends, even though just virtual friends. But um, I don't want people to think that I'm just jet setting around the country with a, you know, having a Mai Tai and going to Hawaii and whatnot on, on your dime. Uh, I believe in okay. cooking and Astro Rat the Grim just resubscribed for five months. Thanks Astro Rat the Grim. Good to see you. Um, let's, let's go ahead and do a Christmas song here. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It's a standard. Uh, even with my new monitor, uh, it's going to be a little difficult to see the lyrics, so I'm going to do the best that I can here. together if the fate 
species loud Until then We'll have to Moodle through Somehow And have yourself A merry A little emotional in the middle of that one there. Um, but uh, anyway, Christmas is just getting started. And uh, the dish that I'm making today is actually a very Christmassy dish. It's got uh, cinnamon, which is a very seasonal, uh, sort of a Christmassy type um, spice. I don't have any cinnamon, but I have something called all spice, which pretty much has all the spices. So there's going to be cinnamon in there. And that way you're covered. It's a nice little uh, trick that I discovered recently. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look uh, at French toast. Um, let's see if uh, anybody has any questions here. Dope Silicon says, don't give in to Big Spice chat yeah you're absolutely right uh they try to sell you each individual spice you're going to be spending as much times money as there is spices um okay so desolate reality how did you get so good at cooking did your mom teach you or did you learn it on the streets? That's a good question. Uh, there's two schools. There's cooking school and there's the school of hard knocks. Um, I didn't go to cooking school. So I guess you could say I learned it on the streets. Um, I grew up, I grew up uh, in the mean streets of a place called Englewood, New Jersey. And uh, things can get pretty rough. Uh, there were a couple girls down the block that were bullies and um, I had to learn the hard way that I had to come up with something that I could do to take my mind off of it. It's Kate X says, are you feeling better today? Hey, thanks, it's Kate X. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, I'm feeling much better. I, uh, I had some kind of uh, cold that was lasting for seven or eight days, massive amounts of uh, mucus uh, coming out of my nose constantly even while I was trying to cook or while I was trying to stream sleep everything and uh, right now the mucus has subsided to a normal level so uh, thank you thanks L Linda Jet 8 uh, says glad you're feeling better thank you very much um, The Beekeeper 219, big fan of Punching the Clown and Punching Henry. Sh chat should definitely watch them. Probably most of them have, but uh, yeah, I made a couple of independent films that are available on Amazon if you want to uh, research that. Sanest Florida Man, I bet the fungus and fermented crab you ate on Sunday helped to boost your immune system. That's actually a really good, uh, a good possibility. Thanks. Okay, let's talk about French toast. French toast is a dish of sliced bread soaked in beaten eggs and often milk or cream, then pan fried. This is from wikipedia.com. Alternative names and variants include eggy bread, Bombay toast, gypsy toast, and poor nights of Windsor. So if you got a friend coming over and you say, hey, can I make you some poor nights of Windsor? They probably won't know what you're talking about, but you'll know. Um, the French also called it pan perdu, which means lost bread. Um, and that's kind of the idea behind French toast. If you have bread 
that's been sitting there a long time, uh, like I do, uh, a lot of times I'll get food and forget about it. And so if you have bread like that, this is a way that you can trick your guests into thinking that it's fresh. Um, and you can also make it a little bit less chewy when you soak it in eggs and uh, either fry it or bake it like we're going to be doing today. When French toast is served as a sweet dish, which is going to be today, sugar, vanilla, or cinnamon are also commonly added. Again, we have allspice, so we're covering all that stuff. Added before pan frying, and then it may be topped with sugar, often powdered sugar. We're not going to do that. That's ridiculous. Butter, fruit, or syrup. When it is a savory dish, it's generally fried with pinch or salt and pepper. It can be served with sauce, such as ketchup or mayonnaise. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but um, let's go over the history a little bit, shall we? The history and terminology, the earliest known reference to French toast is in the Apicus, a collection of Latin recipes dating into the first century CE, where it is described as simply a litter dolcia, or another sweet dish. The recipe says to break, slice fine white bread, crust removed. We're not going to be removing the crust into rather large pieces which soak in milk and beaten eggs, fry in oil. This is the first century CE. They're already talking about deep frying stuff. Cover with honey and serve. A 14th century German recipe uses the name Army Ritter, Poor Knights. A name also used in English and the Nordic language. Also in the 14th century, Talavent presented a recipe for toasty stories. Italian 15th century culinary expert Martino de Como offers a recipe. The usual French name is pain perdu, which is what we said earlier, or lost bread, reflecting its use of stale or otherwise lost bread. It may also be called pain doré, golden bread in Canada. There are 15th century English recipes for pain perdu. An Austrian and Bavarian term is pafis or pofis from zuppa pavis, referring to pavia, Italy. The word soup in the dish's name refers to bread soaked in a liquid a sop. In Hungary, this is almost over, sir. In Hungary, it's common called bundask kenyer, or literally coated bread. In Ottoman cuisine, a dish of bread soaked in eggs with honey but no milk is called favigné. That's cool. I like that, favigné. So, um... Darren D says, "Did I? Why did I dye my hair white? No, that's not dye. It's just uh, my hair's getting white as a result of aging. So I apologize about that. But we're doing the best that we can to try to figure that out." Falcon says, uh, "This is an oven baked dish. Will you try to use the oven?" Oh, thank you, thank you so much, Falcon. Uh, this one we're gonna go ahead. I almost forgot we're going to preheat the oven here. I should have been doing that before. And we want to take all the shit that's in your oven and take it out. Okay. Uh, looks like um, Sag I Watch E Rob. Just uh, resubscribed for two months. Thanks, Sag. I watch E. Rob. Hey, Henry. Any regrets in life? It's a good question. Um, obviously, tons, but uh, I'd probably say the most important one is um, if I could go back to high school. 
I probably would have joined some kind of uh, extracurricular activity and made myself a little more social. Um, Archmage Kale says, uh, I noticed that your title says cooking and shit. I see the shit, but when does the cooking start? Please clarify. Um, I don't know why the title says that. It should just say uh, French toast. But sometimes people say cooking and shit to, to just sort of mean etc. <clears throat> it's a slang term for etc. Uh, Freezy Frog says, that is a copy pasta, sir, Henry. I see. Uh, Cheeky Breaky says, can't wait to hear that again tomorrow. Okay. Sahara Destruction says, I actually came to class today, Henry, but I'm still watching you and not really listening to my professor. I think I want to do cooking instead of nursing now. Okay. Um, well, I think in both cases you're helping people. So you can feel confident about that. Um, okay. Adina Zine says, do you have any advanced directives or a living will? No, I really don't. My... My successor will be my cat, Roast Beef, who will probably, if what they say is true, uh, domesticated uh, animals, when their host dies, they eat their face. So, I don't know. I've done some experiments where I've lied down to see if I, I could get him to think that I'm dead and... Um, but he didn't come over and try to eat my face, so maybe that's a myth. Hey, Ama Lama just raided our channel with 10 viewers. Thank you very much, Ama Lama. Uh, that's very cool. <clears throat> I was supposed to hear an alert for that, but I didn't, so I hope that's still working. Uh, okay. Let's, let's see what's going on. Uh, let's take a look at our uh, ingredients today. Get them in the view here a little bit. Obviously, we've got our allspice, which is going to have some cinnamon in it. We've got, these are just bowls. Unfortunately, I'm down to only my third cup. I don't know where the other ones are. So we're going to be doing a little bit of math. If it says one cup, we have a third cup. So that obviously would be three cups, three of these. But uh, sometimes the math gets a little more complicated than that. But we're going to do the best we can. I have some brown variety sugar, which is basically sugar mixed with, uh, I think, syrup or molasses or something. Uh, we've got our bread or our pain for our pain perdu. And this is very old bread that I had completely forgotten about that was in my cupboard, so it's going to be perfect for today. We've also got three eggs. The recipe that I'm using um, calls for six eggs, but I'll be dividing it in half. And finally, we have our butter. Or our, this is a garlic, sorry. I have butter somewhere. Hold on. We can use this. That thing's getting a little nasty there. But uh, okay, so let's start uh, going through our business. Um, um, you're gonna start out with half a loaf of French bread. We're not using French bread today, just regular bread and then we're gonna cut it into cubes. So let's go ahead and do that. I need cutting board. And uh, our bread, I need a knife. 
You don't really need a sharp knife for this. Pretty much just any knife. Okay, so they want us to cut it into cubes. I actually don't know why they're doing it, but uh, who am I to argue? Uh, and this is one of the few instances that you do want to use the shitty part of the bread that's on the end. A lot of times you try to avoid that, but in this case we're actually going to be using it. Because we're going to cover it with good stuff that's going to make it much better. See if you can see that here. Alright, so I'm going to focus on one piece of bread here. It wants it in cubes, so I guess what I'm going to do is start with just right here. Um, I think we're probably going to do four cubes per. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do our edge piece. At McDonald's they call this the front bun. Okay. The man Mondo says just quartering the bread. Yeah, that's basically what we're doing. I guess you could call it cubing or, or quartering. Uh, as long as you have something that ends up looking like this. And if you're just joining us right now, we are making le pain perdu, which is a French word for French toast. Um... We've already gone over the history of it, but you can check it on uh, wikipedia.com or wherever you like to get your news. Okay, we're just about done here. Uh, Dope Silicon says, did I miss the reference picture? No, yeah, let's do that. We're gonna be making it. So they're, I think they're using French bread, but uh, that's basically what we're going for. Okay, so we've got our cubed breads. Let's set these aside and start working with our egg mixture. Um, okay. Starting to get a little complicated here. Um, After you chop up the bread, then you're going to melt some butter in a small saucepan and stir in a cup of brown sugar. That is the bottom layer of your French toast casserole and it gives it an amazing caramelly flavor when it's been baked. So let's try that now. Shit, sorry. I've got a lot of stuff stacked up here, but uh, here we go. We can use this. So what did they say? They said um, melt some butter in a small saucepan. We, we don't have any heat on this, but uh, our butter is kind of melted anyway, so it's going to melt. Let's just go ahead and do this trick here. You can see the butter is getting melted on the bottom of this thing. You just want to completely coat it and then it says we're gonna stir in a cup of brown sugar. That's actually a lot of brown sugar but we're gonna do half so Alexa what's half a cup of brown sugar? One quarter cup of 
Brown sugar weighs about two ounces. Okay. Two ounces. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Alexa, how, how many thirds of a cup is two ounces? From reference.com, two ounces is equal to one quarter cup in U.S. customary measuring units. One quarter of a cup. So, Alexa, what, how many? It's 11.34 a.m. Okay. I'm, I think I'm going to do a little less than a third of a cup. One problem with using this uh, brown sugar is that it gets real stiff in there. So you have to break it up. It's going to be a little bit of a workout. This is why cooking sometimes can be a young man's game. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to evenly distribute this around. That should be plenty. Break up the little pieces there if you can. If you can, boy, these things don't break. Okay. Our next order of business here is that we will be um yeah, so we're done with that section. Now we're gonna make the eggs egg mixture. So in a work bowl, which I have, it doesn't smell very good. I think it's uh, that crab stuff that I used last time was nasty, and I think I'm smelling some residual of that while I'm heating up the oven here. Uh, this is the, okay. In a medium bowl, we're going to whisk together our eggs, which is going to be three eggs. So let's go ahead and do that for starters. Usually you want a slightly harder surface to break your eggs over, but this is all we got. You'll get better at that with time. Got a little bit of shell in there, which isn't bad, but you, if you can get rid of it, that's better. There we go. And we're gonna be using the whites and the yolks here. So there's no need to be doing all kinds of tossing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so we're gonna add Eggs, we want milk, half a cup of milk. So, Alexa, how many thirds of a cup is one half a cup of milk? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, one and a half thirds make half a cup. Okay, so we're gonna do one. and then half. Well, unfortunately that's, I'm out of milk. So, oh, that's right, we're only doing half anyway, shit. So we actually have too much milk in there. I gotta remember to divide, to divide everything by two. But whatever, we've, we've got that. There's, you know, we're making French toast. There's not a lot of room for error here. Uh, we're also going to put in the cinnamon, a.k.a. allspice. And of cinnamon, we want 
one tablespoon, so of course we will be doing one half a tablespoon. Alexa, how many teaspoons is one tablespoon? One tablespoon is three teaspoons. Okay, so we're gonna do one and a half of these. This is all spice, so it'll be, we're getting some bonus spices in there, which will be nice. Okay, and we're gonna whisk these together um, until well blended, and then we're gonna pour it into a shallow bowl wide enough to place a slice of the bread. Okay, I see where they're going with this. So let's uh, grab our whisker. Should be here somewhere. Okay. I don't have a whisk, unfortunately, so I, all I've got is this, so hopefully it'll do the trick. But let's go ahead and stir this up. Uh, while I'm beating it, uh, I can... I can um, take some questions. Quanto joined us and said that he fixed uh, the raid alert, so that's very cool. Also, Anonymous tipped $1. Uh, Anonymous, thank you very much for that. Um, it says, why are there no worms in the bread? Yikes. Uh, I don't know if that's something that happens to bread after long periods of time. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that doesn't happen, but either way, uh, the oven will kill any worms. Um, I had a uh, tapeworm when I was in high school from walking around barefoot. Uh, on the rocks. What happens is that your foot, uh, they get on your foot and then they enter your blood vessels or something and then they get into your stomach and start eating all the food that you're eating. So you wind up losing a lot of weight but you have this worm inside of you that's growing like uh, some kind of a balloon or something. Degree Scaffold says, I thought that's ringworms, not tape. Oh yeah, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Mr. Dink's vibrator says, how many different spices do I need to use for it to be considered allspice? Uh, that's a good question. I think it lists it on the ingredients. It says here, it evokes a blend of nutmeg, cloves, and cinnamon. Add to your cookies, cakes, and fruit pies, as well as savory jerk chicken. So hopefully that answers your question there. Um, Bruce Lee says, uh, the spoon size maths confuse me. How are you good at calculating? Well, mostly I'm relying on Alexa to do the job of math. Um, Archmage Kale says, what if the eggs report me to the police after I beat them? Will that be a problem? I've only had the police show up one time. Uh, while I was cooking, and I think that that had to do with uh, a miscommunication of uh, the smell that was coming from my kitchen. Um, Dope Silicon says, what does Bruce Lee say when he's thirsty, Henry? What a... What a... I guess, I don't know. I'm a big Bruce Lee fan. I thought that... Uh, they did a terrible job portraying him in the movie, uh, Tarantino movie, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood recently, but I think he eventually made amends with the family. Um, this is a good movie, though. All right. I think we're just about uh, done beating it. Um, Fred H.W. says it's called Pain Doré in French-Canadian. Translates to English as golden bread. Oh, okay. Pain doré. I like it. Um, languages are not my forte. Oh. 
Okay. Franz Schubert just resubscribed for seven months. Thanks, Franz Schubert. Maybe we can hear your uh, your symphony if you ever finish it. That's a Franz Schubert joke. Um, I think he's the one who did the fr the unfinished symphony. But uh, if I'm wrong about that one, then it's embarrassing. But uh, okay, thanks, Dope Silicon. Um, Archmage Kale says because he's Finnish. Oh, actually, no, he's not. But that would have been a really good one too. Franz Schubert says, I'm really the Franz Schubert. I'm stuck in purgatory until I finish the Eighth Symphony. Oh, okay. Uh, purgatory, of course, is the place between heaven and hell, um, which I guess is probably like Franz Schubert's music. Uh, okay. Let's see what the next order of business is here. It looks like we're going to start laying... Uh, we're going to add in our bread cubes and then we're going to pour the mixture over the top. So let's go ahead and do that. So in no particular order, we're going to start laying out our breads. And uh, I'd like to see what you know what what uh what your french toast looks like if you want to post it on the uh discord uh there's a lot of great stuff going on on the henry's kitchen discord there's song requests pictures of people's pets as well as their food general chatting and also that's where i give the recipes in advance so that you can make the dish is along with me here. Let's do a little check on our cat roast beef there. Okay, seems to have shifted positions, which is good. I always uh, want to make sure that he's still with us because he's a very old cat. Archmage Kale says, food of the people or food of the pets? Oh, I guess you could post your pet food on there too but no uh generally speaking they're they're posting their own um creations i think okay so we're going to very carefully pour this across this is a little different from making regular french toast when you're doing it as a casserole you're actually uh you're not uh dunking it the way you do in the casserole, you're actually just pouring it over top. But it's gonna be delicious. Twitchy Eternal Storms rated our channel with one viewer. Thank you very much, Twitchy Eternal Storms. Okay. Very nice of you. And Kafti, Kaffi gifted Mars Raptor a sub. They have given 30 gift subs in the channel. Thank you very much, Kaffi. That's very kind of you. Um all right, so let's see what's next. I'd say this one's going pretty smoothly. We've added our bread cubes. We've poured the mixture over the top. Now we're gonna pop it into the oven and we're gonna bake it for about 30 minutes. And you are on your way to one of the most yummy breakfasts that you'll ever sink a fork into. Really, I mean it. This recipe, I think, comes to us from, um, it's like friskymoms.com or something. It's a, uh, it's a recipe channel. Every viewer counts. That's what Jerts4 says. Yes, you're absolutely right. And, um, Archmage Kill says, that sounds like a website for something else. Yeah, I maybe double check that. Um, maybe it's Whiskey Moms. Da Danny Dan says, um, Whiskey Moms might be what it is. Yeah, because that would be more of a cooking related things. Uh, thanks, Da Danny Dan. All right, let's have a sip of our coffee here. 
Sussy Amange rated us with one viewer. Thank you very much, Sussy Amange. Or maybe it's Sussy Among E. But either way, thank you for joining us. We are making Pain Perdu, uh, the French version of French toast. And uh, we are about to put our mixture into the oven. What we did, if anybody's just joining us, we've cut our bread into cubes and we've poured our batter over top. The batter, of course, made out of eggs, cinnamon slash allspice instead, and also uh, something else. Elite Attack Ferret has resubscribed for five months. Thanks, Elite Attack Ferret. Okay. So, uh, okay, let's put this in the oven. Alexa, set the timer for 30 minutes. Hello. 30 minutes, starting now. Desolate Reality rated our channel with one viewer. Thank you very much, Desolate Reality. That's very nice of you. Hello. Layden rated with 83, 83 viewers. Wow, we're getting a lot of raids today. Thanks, Layden. Um, welcome. We are making Le Pain Perdu, the French version of French toast, and now we're about to put it in the oven. It's oven-baked, casserole. I keep forgetting to say casserole. Um, Alexa, how much time left on the timer? You have 29 minutes left on your 30 minute timer. Okay. You want to put it in the top rack so it uh, qu uh, cooks quicker. Well, we've got a little bit of time here. Maybe it's time to do, uh, take a couple of your song requests. Okay. Uh, it looks like Stepfather has resubscribed. Thanks, Stepfather. We have a song uh, that was requested to us by... I believe this one is It's Kate X. Hello. And please... Uh... Wow, Breadworms rated with 50 viewers. Thank you very much, Breadworms, for rating the channel. We're just about to do a music segment. We've got our French toast casserole in the oven. And all is right with the world. I hope I'm not wrong about uh, the attribution there. I think it was It's Kate X who uh, requested this song. It's a song by... Um, band uh, that some of you might be familiar with. It's called Led Zeppelin. And you, you'll hear their songs a lot when you're uh, going to bars or, or, you know, if you're going to a supermarket or um, just going anywhere, I guess. They play them a lot. And, um, but this is a song from, I think it's their fourth album and I think it's on the B side. And I'm very familiar with it because I grew up with this music. So I appreciate that this is the request here, uh, but I'm still going to need help with the lyrics, so let's see what we can do here. Uh, Compatch Zero says, what makes something a casserole? Uh, it's when you put it in a pan of some sort and put it in the oven. So almost everything is really a casserole. Um, so here we go. song called Going to California. I'm currently in California, so this song is very appropriate. Raziel's Lament says this song was played at my grandma's funeral. Okay. That's pretty, uh, pretty uh, hip there. But it, it is a little bit of a funeral song. Okay, here we go. I gotta be able to see the lyrics here. Spend my days with a woman unkind, smoke my stuff and drink all my wine. Made up my mind to make a new start, 
going to California with an aching in my heart. Someone told me there's a girl out there with love in her eyes and flowers in her hair. Took my chances on a big jet plane. Never let them tell you that they're all, all the same. Sea was red and the sky was gray. Wondering how tomorrow could ever follow today. Oh. Mountains in the canyon start to tremble and shake. Children of the sun begin. Watch out now. Seems like the wrath of the gods took a punch in the nose and it started to flow. I think I might be sinking. Throw me a line if I reach it in time. I will meet you up there where the path runs straight and high. To find a king without a king. They say they plays guitar and cries and sings. Booty Bread just rated with one viewer. Thank you very much, Booty Bread, for rating. Ride a white mare in the footsteps of dawn, trying to find a woman who's never, never, never been born. Crazy lyrics. Standing on a hill in a mountain of dreams. Telling myself it's not as hard, hard, hard as it seems. He sings very high and it's hard to, uh... Oh. There's that. So, um, yeah, that was a song, uh that was written by uh, the band Led Zeppelin. Uh, Velho Kala just rated with one viewer. Thank you very much, Velho Kala, for rating us with one viewer. Jonas um, Thorvaldson says, what's this song called again? That song's called Going to California, and I think it does a pretty good job describing what it's like here in California. Uh, okay. Dope Silicon says, you have the voice of an angel. That's very nice of you. Thank you very much. It's getting over uh, being sick a little bit, but I, I assume you're talking about that ending part. Hot, hot, hot as it seems. It's Kate X. Thanks for playing that, Henry. Thank you for requesting that. It's a fun, nice song. Um... Parasitosis says, uh, any thoughts on getting a sous chef to do all the grunt work for you? Possibly. Um, I have a neighbor who uh, apparently is a chef at a steakhouse here called uh, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. So maybe I could get them to do some of the grunt work, some of the heavy lifting. Flynn, how do you cope the, with the fact that no one will ever be as good as you in the kitchen? You know, I mean, I, thank you, first of all, but um, I don't want people to think that when they see me, I mean, I've been doing this a long time. I think it's been, uh, I think 2011 is when I did my first video, which was for French Toast. And I started cooking a couple years after teaching it already for a couple years, because I think that teaching something is a good way to get to know how to do it. Um, but, you know, so I don't want people to have a false sense of uh, inferiority when they're watching me do it. When you watch anybody on YouTube do anything, they're a total pro. Um, the first video that I ever watched on YouTube was someone teaching how to uh, tie a tie because I didn't know how to tie a tie correctly. And um, I was like, well, they're obviously a total pro and they're a badass at it. And I was messing it up all over the place and it took me probably 40 minutes to eventually get it and the video was only a minute and a half long but I had to keep replaying it
but eventually, uh, eventually I got there. Darren D says, why do you dye your hair white? No, I don't, I don't dye my hair white. This is just what's happening. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. I, I turned 50 about three years ago and uh, my hair, my face, my body, everything is changing and there's just not a damn thing I can do about it. I'm just marching inexorably toward the final days and it's very depressing. Uh, I try not to think about it, especially during the holidays. Uh, purple donut filling is a fruit going through second puberty. Maybe that's what it is. Um, okay. I think we have another uh, song request. Um, somewhere. Okay, Ibrahim Kanbekirsi, who, uh, Ibrahim must be about my age because uh, there's a lot of songs requested um, that, that are uh, similar to the ones that I listen to. This one actually we did, um, I have to pull it up on the old uh, Ultimate Guitar here. Alexa, how much time left? You have 19 minutes left on your 30 minute timer. Okay. This is a song by the Cars. Uh, called Just What I Needed. I don't mind you coming here Wasting all my time Cause when you're standing oh so Cause when you're standing oh so near I kinda lose my mind It's a little high It's not the perfume that you wear It's not the ribbons in your hair I don't mind you coming here And wasting all my time can't do it. Uh, I feel like a failure. Um, Ibrahim, I'm going to try that again when I'm not as uh, debilitated, which hopefully will happen. Um, anyway, uh, you know what? I, I'd like to try something a little different here. Uh, my friend uh, Mark Cohen invented a game for Henry's Kitchen. It's the Henry's Kitchen game. And some of you guys have seen me play this already. But what's exciting now is that we've got uh, a new thing added. Some of you may or may not be familiar with the Onyo Helm, as it's been called on the Discord, but it's my onion uh, welding helmet. Uh, I tried glasses, then I tried goggles, and nothing that I did could keep my eyes from tearing up while I was cutting onions, so I actually went to the last resort, which was literally a welding helmet, and that does the trick. Suddenly I'm able to, uh, here I'll show you a little bit. Uh, we're not cutting onions today, but... Wait, uh...
Okay, so yeah, it's basically just this. But yeah, you can cut onions all day long and nothing's going to get through that, so it's fantastic. Um, but anyway, we won't be using that right now. Hold on a sec. Uh, but we've added, we've incorporated the Onyo Helm into the game, or Mark Cohen has into the game, and it's added a very exciting new level. What happens now basically is that you, if you can pick up the Onyo Helm, then uh, you get double points for a few seconds. So that's kind of exciting. So let's uh, give this a try here. I don't know why it, it's a little off, but uh, hopefully that'll be good enough for us to be able to see. Um, anyway, yeah, it's, it's a little uh, off center there, but we're gonna do the best we can. I'm gonna unmute the game here, because there are sound effects. Uh, I've never been able to get past 50, but now that they've introduced the, uh, onion, okay, see, there it is. Now I have the Onyo Helm, and I'm going to get double points. Look at that. Suddenly I've got much better points, and I think that just lasts for a little bit. Already I'm doing much better than I was before. So the idea is you want to stomp on the, uh black ants, and if you get hit by a red ant, then you you only get three lives there, and, and you get you die, basically. All right, I'm looking for another Onyo Helm. I'm hoping it comes up soon here. I think it just comes up randomly. Oh, there it is. But I gotta get there. Oh, I missed it. Help. Ah. Oh boy. Okay. Flynn says your motor skills are incredible. So if you look at some of these high score, it's Kate got 223. See, that's mind blowing to me. SSS 187, Hugh. Janus, Hugh Janus, got 179, it's Kate again. Nim Ispa, is Nim Nispalt, 135, Nina, 103, Coco, 92, Nehakram, 83, Henry's Neighbor, 81, Fuck You, 75, Fun Stuff, 69, Wonder Boy, 67, Forsen, I think that's the Forsen, got 65, and Coco 52. So I'm gonna try it one more time here. I wanna see how high I can get now that we have this new element of the game. Onyo Helm. This one's not very good. On your helm. You want a whole bunch of them to be there when you pick up the on your helm. Uh oh. Ah, that's it. That one wasn't very good. Well, 69. So already the scores are much better. All right, uh, Alexa, how much time left on the timer here? You have 11 minutes left on your 30-minute timer. Let's see if I can turn that off. Okay, we have 11 minutes. Uh, Flark987234 says, This game looks like it was made in Henry's Kitchen. 
Yeah, well, it's probably made in a very similar kitchen. Hans von Sauerkraut, you call yourself a Henry fan. I'm fucking loaded on channel points, bro. I highlight every message because I'm just that jacked. Try talking in chat again when you're a true fan. Uh, I don't know if you're, if that's directed toward me. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm a fan of, uh, of my YouTube show, at least. Um, let's see if I missed, uh, yeah, Velhokala raided our channel with one viewer. That was awesome. Booty Bread did as well. So these are all great ra raids. Uh, Breadworms raided our channel with 50 viewers. That's pretty awesome. Okay, uh, the song thing is... I'm having a hard time with, uh, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna up my song game, but uh, still just my voice is uh, not doing too great. You know what? This is probably a good time to do, and I know that my cat roast beef is gonna hate this, uh, but I think it's time that we put on um, the stray backpack on roast beef. I don't want to bother him too much. Um, he looks a little bit confused. But uh, we're getting there. That's the stray, the official stray backpack. And we're, we're going to get him to get up and walk around. If you want to take a look at uh, the example pick, that's what, uh, that's what we're going for. And... This is what we have. Um, he looks a little bit startled. Stepfather has resubscribed. Oh yeah, I already said that, okay. I don't want anybody to think he's uncomfortable. I would never do that. He's got plenty of space. So once again, we go to our example. Pretty good. Um, yeah, almost makes me feel like we should play a little bit of the game, but uh, it's not quite time yet because we... Um, we have to wait for our stuff to come out. All right. Well, Alexa, how much time left on the timer? You have six minutes and 40 seconds left on your 30 minute timer. Six minutes. Um, hmm. Uh oh, I see, I hear some movement happening over there. When we play the game, I'll make sure it's a little more secure. So again, I got the largest one that there was, but um, he uh, it, it doesn't fit him. That's why it's very loose fitting right now. It looks like he's kind of taking it off too, unfortunately. Yep. 
He's kind of bored, I guess. Uh, Dope Silicon says he's just big bone. Stephen Cat says justice for roast beef. Remove the shackles. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and remove it for now. But I will say that it's not painful for him. He's just... Uh, he's probably just not used to having a thing on him. Here. So now it's just sort of laying on top of him like a blanket or something. Yeah, uh, someone mentioned the highwayman. Uh, Gude2112. Uh, I'd say that uh, roast beef fits into his uh, backpack pretty similar to how uh, the highwayman fits into his jetpack. So, ZZ Bra, do I know any Elliott Smith songs? Yes, we did one a couple months ago, and it's a beautiful song, but I'd have to relearn it. But uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, go to the Discord and mention which song that you want me to do, and I'll do it, because that was a beautiful song. Um... Hacklin asks if Roast Beef has a black belt in karate. No, this is, I don't know if you just joined us. This is a, a backpack that I bought uh, from a line of merchandise from the game Stray. But it's not an official um, indication of a, a level in karate or any of those types of things. Uh, Archmage Kale says, I noticed that your title says Henry's famous oven-baked French toast Cassie Roll. What the hell is a cassie? Oh, I might have misspelled. It's it's a casserole. Um, uh, Baldur's Bowl says, uh, Why do you have a cat named roast beef, but not a dog named corn beef? It's not a bad name for a dog, I will say. I used to have a dog named Archie, but he's no longer with us, sadly. Um, Alexa, how much time left? You have two minutes and 50 seconds left on your 30 minute timer. Okay, two minutes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a quick, uh, song. This is from the Jose Suicidio collection. Since it is Christmas time, I'm going to do a song uh, by an artist named Jose Suicidio. Uh... I'm not sure which key is best. Mm -hmm. There's a pile of untouched gifts underneath the Christmas tree. There's a cobweb on the mantle where your stockings used to be. As I sit here broken hearted, weeping neath the Christmas toe. Holding in my hand a ring that's made of 14 karat gold. And the puppy ate all of the sugar plums. And he threw up all over my lap. And I'm spending my Christmas Eve scooping up little pieces of sugar plum puppy crap. And there's a pile of unpaid collection notices scattered all over. Doesn't seem like Christmas anymore. There's a story in the news of a lady at the mall who was senselessly assaulted for some stupid hyped up doll. And there's an actor playing Santa for the children on his knee, making foolish empty promises. He knows he'll never keep But he has a flask full of whiskey That he keeps in his merry old sack And he takes a little swig each time The manager turns his back Because Santa's nothing but an overweight Underpaid would-be thespian whore And it doesn't 
doesn't seem like Christmas Okay, so, uh, all right, it's that time of the month. What do we got here? Uh, Jose Suicidio on Spotify. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, while it's cooling, here, hold on. I'm going to push stop there. Um, you want to use a pot holder for this. I don't want to make that mistake again. Woo -wee. I'll put it on top of something so it's not too damaging to our surface here. Uh, let's take a look at what we've got here. Very nice. Uh, I'm Marcelo. You need to download a plugin for your browser like 7TV to see the additional emotes. Oh, oh, that wasn't to me. Sorry. But yes, that's true. And also, we're really incre increasing our emote game here. Thanks to some very special people that I'm going to thank here in a second. Uh, let's take a look at our example pick. We, it looks like we probably need a little bit of uh, fruit or something over top that we can lay in there. I don't know that I have that. Uh, I have uh, some dill left over. And this kind of stuff is really just for garnish. I want to make sure that this stuff is... Uh, we bought this a while ago. Nah, I don't think I want that on our French toast. I'm going to put that back in the fridge. Uh, here. Raspberry jam. Oh, hi. Game Master Flash just gifted five subs. Thank you very much, Game Master Flash. Here is our jelly. This looks pretty old, too. Taste a little bit of it. Nah, I, I don't want that on there either. This is old. I'm going to put this back in the fridge. Uh, ah, got it. Got some capers. Let's put these over there. Okay, so as usual, ours isn't going to look as beautiful or whatever as they did in the professional photography set that they set up for uh, for their example pick uh, for French toast, but you know what? This is the way it really looks when you do it according to the directions in the exact manner that it was meant to be. Um, 
So once again, you know, we used a different kind of bread. They've got these fancy raspberries and blueberries on top. We have capers, um, but ours is probably gonna be equally as delicious and we're gonna find that out right now. That thing fell on my foot. That sucked. That painting, I got it at the uh, Goodwill because I thought it'd be a nice sort of a thing that we could uh, have in the background, but I don't know. All right, so. You just want to get a serving plate and uh, let's grab some of this. It's a little bit stuck to the bottom there. This is Pain Perdu Casserole, a French rendering of the commonly known dish French toast, but we're doing it in casserole form. The bottoms of the bread is sticking to the pan, so I don't think we're gonna be able to salvage that, unfortunately, but we do have uh, the tops that's gonna be delicious. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, have some bites here. See what we're doing. See if anybody has any questions. Hilbert Hotel says uh, the bottom is the worst part anyway. Yeah. This is good, guys. I mean, it's very bready. Um... Did Danny Dan says it looks better than the first French toast video that you did. Yeah, well, I used a toaster oven and I burned it. But this time, uh, I think, you know, after 11 years, I've learned a thing or two. And we also didn't have Alexa back then, so I had no way of setting a timer. Darren D, the capers will really bring out the cinnamon knotters. Hmm. How do the capers go with it? Yeah, it's not bad. I can taste the capers. Actually, that's where a lot of the flavor's coming from. And I'm starting to attract flies, which I always say is a good thing. If you're not attracting the flies, then you're not attracting the people. Uh, Kairosa says the painting is upside down. Yeah, probably. I'm not really a big connoisseur of art, so I don't know if the vines are supposed to be hanging from the top or the other way around. But I'm enjoying this. This is a fine breakfast for, for an afternoon. The bread is very old. And the capers are have a little bit of a bite to them. Archmage Kill says, why is it called a painting if it's already painted? Yeah, well, you're, you're touching on something very interesting there. Uh, painting would be the, the gerund, I believe, which is uh, the noun form of the verb. And, um, but you don't hear it very often, you know. Um, you wouldn't, if you're cooking something, you wouldn't call this, a cooking you know it's French toast so I'm not sure why they do that so okay Venton Asilka says describe the taste okay um, I'll be honest with you it's a little bit like regular toast I don't know why um, I think if you look at the nature of this 
the bread kind of did its own thing and then that other the egg batter just sort of ended up in the middle of it so i'm really pretty much just eating bread that's been toasted so it's a little bit like toast it's got a very hint a uh, very subtle hint of caper which is not a sweet thing as i just found out it's a uh, sort of a savory and it's got a little bit of a bite to it i don't know if i would do the capers again i was looking for some kind of garnish I tried raspberry jelly, but that was very old, so I put it back in the refrigerator as well as the uh, dill. It was back from when we made Spanish copita, which was a very long time ago. Fun says uh, I should use some maple syrup. I don't think I have any maple syrup, unfortunately. Poker Bird says, what makes this particular toast French? Why is it called French toast? Um, you can go to the Wikipedia and find out, but it's um, originally this was a way of, if you had guests over and you wanted to serve them a meal for your party, but you all you had was really old bread lying around. If you poured egg over it and put a bunch of uh, garnishes on there, you could make your guests think that this was some kind of uh, fresh meal that you were making them, and it would fool them. And uh, it's called pain perdu. And um, lost bread is literally what that means. Hilbert Hotel says neighbors probably would love some of that. Yeah, I might, I might cut a couple of the squares out, and maybe for the holidays I'll anonymously put a little plate in front of people's door uh, with a square of uh, French toast, or I might just sort of eat them by myself over the next couple of weeks. I might make it like one of those advent calendars where I have, every time I lift a, a door, there's a French toast cube in there as a treat. All right. Gonna put this aside, but I'm gonna say overall that this was definitely a success. Not exactly as beautiful as what they had, but it's definitely good. We have a very exciting thing that's gonna happen here to check up on roast beef here. Uh, roast beef has his stray um, a tire on because today we're going to be finishing the game stray. If you want to take a look at our example pick of what that's supposed to look like, this is the cat in the game stray, which is based on roast beef. But you know, I mean, they've got all kinds of uh, special effects and. You know, they're, they're making an imaginary version, so it's always going to be ideal. Uh, roast beef doesn't necessarily wear it quite as well, and roast beef is definitely not as active. Um, but we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Darren D. says, does roast beef have any kitty kids? No, uh, he, he was... Uh, they did a surgery on that where he wasn't able to. Um, everyone type force and says my boss is going to fire the employee with the worst posture. I have a hunch it might be me. Oh boy. Uh, I think everyone type force and has always been having a lot of difficulty staying employed. And I'm sorry to hear that. But I almost forgot before we get into stray. Um, I'm going to do kind of a silly song for you, but it's my way of showing gratitude to the people who have made Henry's Kitchen possible. Uh, when I started it, well, a year ago, Nim got me involved by having me on his broadcast, and he said that uh, I was building up popularity on the platform and that I should start my own YouTube, uh, sorry, Twitch channel. 
I already had a YouTube channel for 11 years or whatever, but uh, I was like, what's this Twitch thing? And all of a sudden I did it, and um, it's literally uh, been a highlight of my life. I uh, have friends now, virtual friends, of course, but they're friends, and we communicate in a way that's very modern, but it's real. And um, a lot of people came forward to help. The Discord channel... Uh, has been uh, fantastic and that was of course um, set up by uh, Dingo Bop, Dom Beef, Do Dingle and Dr. Flanges I believe and Soma. Soma might be one of those. There's different uh, channels but either way I want to show gratitude and they've also helped me increase the emote game Quanto came forward with technical help that is beyond belief. I mean, if you look, when I make a transition from one um, scene to another, you'll notice that it does the Henry's Kitchen um, uh, transition that I'm familiar that I was familiar with. So that's Quanto's doing, along with a lot of other on-the-spot technical help. And uh, also our moderators, Falcon, and many others that I'm going to um, sing in the form of song to the tune of Roger Miller's uh, King of the Road. This is my thank you to all the people who help on Henry's Kitchen. Falcon and Dingo Bob, Dom Beef and Hottest Bear 1110. Doggle, or doggoggle, Dr. Flangey's in Bacchus, and also Shane, yes, BL's a B, Daisy Blossom ends her doom, Bumble Vision and the LGX, Pilskman Millen 95, Nim Force. That's my way of showing gratitude. Uh, all right. Let's play. I'm going to grab a piece of my, well, let's just be honest, it's just toast. Um, with a little dill on it, too. Um, let's get into our game here. The game is stray, and we're supposedly getting to the end. I'm on the last chapter, and we might finish it right now. I'm not sure how long it'll take. Um, but we're gonna. Ha this is the game that uh, I imagine when roast beef sleeps constantly, which he really does quite a bit. I'm gonna do a quick welfare check to make sure that he's still with us and that everything's okay. Time to shine. Okay, yeah, he's getting kind of annoyed that I keep going over there and checking on him. So he's going to sleep, but just know that he's okay, and we're going to go ahead and play our game. Here we go. Uh... I don't know if you remember where we left it, but uh, we had this situation um, where, God, where were we? Um, there was a robot lady who uh, gave me 
Oh yeah, that's right. We have to go. We have something important. Hold on, sorry. I hope Clementine is all right. Let's fix the subway. Oh, that's right, we have to fix the subway. I feel like we already did this, but I think that w it didn't save for some reason. So let's go down here. And I believe that we went down into this dungeon. And we uh, found this area here where we can use the item that, oh yeah, that's right, it was a battery. Kathy, you missed the last few streams. Well, there wasn't really that much stray going on, so you might remember this. Uh, a winter cherry says, would you consider yourself a dungeon master? Yeah, I would say definitely. Um, but that's just because I consider myself to be quite good at dungeons. So I think now the subway should be working and we're going to get on there. And we're going to use this thing. And we're off. Okay, so this is where we left off, I believe. Some crazy stuff going on. Falcon says, cat driving a train. Yep, I think you meant train. Kathy, well, mastering adventure back in the day did qualify as dungeon mastering, yeah. I played a game called Adventure, which was so much more difficult than Henry's Kitchen Ants or any of these games that we've been playing on here. Uh, Crappuccino says, how are you going to spend your Christmas holidays? Um, probably the usual. I'll probably make a nice dish, maybe my chutney cheese weenie bites, give some to the neighbors, um, and then uh, probably watch some of my favorite uh, holiday movies. There's a movie called Prince of Darkness by John Carpenter, which is fun. Okay, so this, let's see where we have here. Uh, Okay, we've got a guy. How may I help you? Please head to the leisure area if you would like to purchase or consume any goods. Have a nice day. So what is this here? It looks like we're in the world's safest city. Walled City 99. In the U.S., we, we call that uh, any city in Canada. But I'm sure, relatively speaking, there's probably safer cities. Um, Kathy says, will there be a Christmas stream? Yeah, why not? Uh, I'm good with that. I might be doing... Uh, I don't know if it falls on that day or not. Okay, so here, here we have a situation where there's stairs and an escalator and the great uh the escalator's broken the great mitch hedberg had a line about it there's no such thing as a broken escalator it pretty much just becomes stairs all right i don't know if they were re referring to that in the game greetings inhabitant of walled city 99 inside walled city 99 organic life fire Life forms require special care. That is why my fellow companion robots and I were designed to caretake for all life forms. Have a good day. Flynn asks if I'm going to grow a beard to cosplay at Santa. No, yeah, the beard is basically just a fashion thing that I'm trying. It's not working. It's, uh, 
it's making me look older, which I don't like, but, uh, you know, I mean, that's what Christmas is for. It's for experimenting with your fashion. I am currently painting this area. Please be careful of the wet paint. Does that mean I can... You can't do anything with that, huh? Let's see what this guy says. At this point, we're almost near the surface. We just need to find the exit. Okay. More broken escalator. Or as Mitch Hedberg calls it, stairs. Um... Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. The door leading to the surface is currently locked due to the confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Okay. So, we need to reach the control room. That's the only way we're going to be able to open the door to the outside. Let's see what Roast Beef thinks. Hmm. Doesn't seem like he's uh, very interested in having an opinion about any of this. See if we can get a close up there. No. Okay. Who's this guy? Hello, the city has been sealed. He's sending me to the control room as well. What do we got here? Oh, wow. I think that's the city that we were in with all the weird billboards and stuff, the lost city. Oh, wow. And that's the uh, elevator shaft. So this is basically everything that we've done. We started at the top. Now we're here. And then we went down the shaft, went into that treehouse type thing. Wow, this is amazing. Okay. So I have a feeling all these guys are going to send us to the control room. There's uh, another view. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I just gotta see, I'm sure he's gonna say the same thing. Clean the window. Yeah, more control room. All right, so where's that control room? We've got some chairs here that look a lot like the ones that were at the library where I used to work in high school and I remember one time when I was taking a 15 minute break, I sat in the chair and one of the librarians told me not to sit in the chair because she said people come in from off the street and they sit in the chair and pee in them. And I don't know if that was true or not, but since then I've never sat in a public chair. It was kind of traumatizing. Borsenven, Borsenven, uh, sorry I'm late, how's your night? Well, it's it's still daytime here. Uh, it's okay, we, we made some pretty mediocre uh, uh, French toast uh, situation that basically just came out as bread, which isn't bad, I guess, but nothing to write home about. But I'm hungry. Oh, here he is. Big surprise, it's closed. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. It says I'm not a human and that's offensive. Maybe if we work together, we can open the passageway. Okay, how do we do that? Ah, okay.
but I can't reach it. Ah, there's one of those things that we had in the other thing where it follows you. I finally got good at this game. When you think about where we started, Oh, I guess I got to open it again. Do some clawing. There we go. I can't open this door alone. We need to work together. Oh, he's still stuck on that. Got a little corridor here. More piss chairs. This is the control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here and it's empty. Yeah, I'll say. I remember hating them so much. They had everything, clean space, limited, Limitless power, freedom to move. Little good it did them. I think this needs some sad music. The plague, I remember now. Everyone was dying, and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. If you're just joining us, guys, we have roast beef in his stray attire. Um, not to be confused uh, with uh, the roast beef in the game uh, because I know that they look very similar. Oh. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. Let's go to the outside together. I'll carry memories of humanity and the people I loved. He's talking a lot of mumbo jumbo there. Okay, what do we got going on here? Knock over some shit. It should make a breaking noise. Hmm. Archmage Kill says, any advice on how to find a girlfriend? Well, they say that the way to a girl's heart is through her stomach. I'm not sure who said that, but I think what they mean is that uh, you want to cook for her. Or no, it might have been the way into a girl's stomach is through her heart. Okay, either way, it's a weird phrase. What do we got? This is it, the main computer. We're doing this, guys. Roast beef, aren't you excited? According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers should hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. It seems like in every sci-fi thing, there's a mainframe reference. We gotta break into the mainframe. Uh, Martian Canine says, can you say hello to my friend Daisy, please? Of course, hello Daisy. 
I'm not sure if you're just joining us right now. Uh, we're playing Stray, which is the game that's based on my cat, Roast Beef. Oh, yeah. Bananable just resubscribed. And Style Cramps also resubscribed. Here, I gotta make sure I haven't missed any of these here. Um, just gonna take a quick break. Uh, thanks. Oh my god, Roasty, Roasty has a harness. Yep, yeah, it's from the game Stray. Thanks, Style Cramps, for joining us. As well as uh, Bannable has resubscribed. JV's Tech cheered 100 bits. Success. Thanks, JV's Tech, for cheering 100 bits. Sorry I missed it earlier. It's Just John has resubscribed for four months. Game Master Flash gifted five tier one subs. A lot of action there. And also we're saying hi to Daisy. That's my cat roast beef. I'm gonna do a quick welfare check. Okay, I'm going to have to give him some food here. Uh, it's kind of high maintenance um, situation. Oh, he's got food. All right. Well, I think he shook his harness off, if I'm not mistaken there. Uh, anyway. Let's go ahead and go back. But uh, welcome, Daisy. Thanks for joining us. And we're going to resume the game here. I think I'm supposed to turn these computers on. How do you do that? Oh. Oh, I see. You can turn them on and off by stepping on them. Get them all? Yeah. Okay. And I think we got to do it again. Uh oh. This one turned off. I'm not sure I understand the mechanics of this. Huh. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I did different, but... Oh, shit. Alright, I think I'm all set there. One more. We did it. You have to step on the keyboard. Thanks, Flynn. Uh, yeah, that was kind of confusing. Blurry Little Quest says God Gamer. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, okay, it worked. Good job, my friend. I've found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Maybe there's a way around it. The roof control station. The system is locked. That's the workstation to open the city. But there's several layers of security preventing us from using it. Now we need to do what we do best. I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. Sounds good. Destroy what? Oh, 
I get it. So we're looking for things like that. Uh, House Vu Sauerkraut says, have you ever had Ligma? No, Ligma. I'm not sure I'm familiar with that one. Is that a type of food? It sounds like a pasta. All right, where am I going here? Is there more... Ah, the radio. Let's look out the window. There we go. This is our whole game trajectory. It's amazing. Started from the bottom, now we're here. That's what Rose Beef is saying to his uh, computer pal. It's in the food. It's a food in the form of a ball shape. Very delicious. My wife's boyfriend's second wife said, "Oh, that's pretty cool." In a boomer, I'm a boomer. You're a boomer. Says, "How about uh, shugma? Have you tried shugma?" No, I'm not sure I have. That's probably another type of pasta, I would imagine. Uh, it sounds delicious. All right, where I'm supposed to go fuck shit up here, and I don't know where I'm supposed to do that. I think I'm in the wrong area, I guess. Maybe I jump up on that. Sorry, this is a uh, a little clumsy. Just looking around for stuff to break. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh, let's be... Uh-oh. What happened to my buddy? The system is taking more than I expected. Oh shit, stuff's going down. Got to keep going. Uh, all right, well, this is usually the time that I ask chat, you know. Uh, I don't know if Elowith is out there, but I know that Elowith has played this before. Everyone type force and says, maybe we need a server guy to help. Yeah, that would be a good thing. Um, okay, that's enough of this. We're, we're going to... Get an aerial view of the place. What's this? That's the one we already did. Oh, here we go. Broke some stuff. Um, sorry, I can't. I'm going to have to focus on this for a second. I think we've already broken that. I think it's the monitors. Oh, so I'm probably late to the party here. We're supposed to be breaking these monitors. But what, how? So 
So this one's locked. There's maybe another locked one somewhere. Oh, I see. All right, it's taken me a while. Archmage Kale says, Wow, I can't believe Roast Beef had all these amazing adventures when he was young. Looking at him now, you wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah, is he back in his spot? Uh, let's go ahead and put the uh, stray uh, backpack back on him here. He's had a, a long life. Okay, so come on, roast beef. Try to look alive here. We're we're gonna really uh, try to do this. We're finishing the game. I want him to get more excited. Don't worry, I can recharge once we're up at that workstation. Okay. I think there's something going on with this. Ah, here we go. Oh, we've got one more lock. I get it now. Why can't I do anything with that? Does anybody know? I think this little body is done for. It's okay, I'll be all right. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable that alarm. Let's go. That's it, we're safe. We did it. Listen, I have something to tell you. Oh no, he's gonna say something personal. I knew the power required to disable the city's central control system would be immense, more than this drone body could handle. But with the security disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding, it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into that first computer and the consequences it could bring. I see, so he killed himself. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past, but I see a future in the companions and you. Here, let me take that off of you. Check in on roast beef. His is pretty much not on either. You were my friend, the very best I could have had. Oh, come on, that's a little bit over the top. Thank you. Our backpack, Cappy says. You're absolutely right. 
Thanks, Archmage Kale. This is uh, this is very emotional. I don't know if they should have this game for kids. It's very sad. That was my buddy, B12. We went through a lot together. We started from the bottom, now we're here. But we don't have our whole team. Just me, roast beef. What's happening now? Oh shit. It's Kate X. Maybe this is why Roast Beef doesn't talk about his past. It's too sad for him. Yep. All right, yeah, kill those things. Our robots. Sengir Vampire says, I guess it's back to licking yourself and throwing up hair. Yep. Looks like the sun is finally shining on the lost city. If it were me, I'd be like, can we close that thing again? It's too bright. Jolly Awesome One, The Lost City of Atlanta. Yeah, I think that's a, uh, that might be a myth, but I'm not sure. Well, what's this? Oh, I'm gonna sleep again. That's the most realistic roast beef thing that we've done here in this game, is sleeping. Okay, come on. Let's get up, let's go see what the hell's going on here. This is the city. Oh wow, it's expanding. This is insane. Light is finally shining over the city. Those are all those rooftops that we were jumping all over. That's crazy. Sky and clouds. I have a feeling the end is near. Saguaro one says, don't forget the little robot carcass. Oh yeah, I guess we're going to have to pick that up. It's got information in it. Oh, this thing's still going. Uh... What do I do? Well, I guess now we should be able to go through that door. Oh wait, no, I gotta get the robot, right? Where is it? Did it disappear? Oh. That would be so creepy if it disappeared. Oh no, it just it just makes me lie down. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's not something that you do. I don't want light, I just want my B12 back. You're absolutely right. Freezy Frog. Uh, back at the piss chairs. What do we got? Yeah, this guy. Oh boy. Are we gonna see the outside? More broken escalators, or as Hedberg called them, stairs. That's probably one of my favorite jokes ever, so that's why I keep saying it. Okay. Uh, Wow, we did it. So is he gonna hook up with his old uh, friends? Or my old friends, I guess I should say. 
If you haven't seen the mo movie Logan's Run, you should definitely see it. Because I think that they got a lot of influence from this. Archmage Kill says, I think the painting is upside down. How does it keep flip-flopping? I don't know how that happened. I might have done that by accident. There we go. That's roast beef. When you think of all the things he's done. He's definitely got much more experience than the other ones that he started with. Oh, well, I was kind of hoping that uh, we'd see him reuniting with his, uh, with his friends. Style Cramp says, good game. Thanks very much. Thanks, everyone. That was actually pretty incredible. What does roast beef think? Sleeping with his... His old stray backpack. Well, I have to say I'm impressed. Um, that was my first uh, modern game that I went through. Now I gotta figure out how to turn it off. Uh, let's see. We'll turn it off there. I don't know about you guys, I'm a little sad that it's over now. Um, that was really... Uh... Thanks, Arch Archmage Kale says you're a god gamer, Henry. You know, I gotta say, I, I think I, that game finally trained me to be able to use this thing. Um, this, That one and uh, the Henry's Kitchen Ants game, between those two and picking up the Onyo Helm, I've actually been able to... Uh, so maybe I'll do a little bit more cooking simulator because we kind of dropped the ball on that. Food truck simulator and a couple other games. And um, Oh, hi. Borsenvin just gifted 10 subs. Wow, thanks, Borsenvin. Thanks very much for doing this. Oh, and, and we've got some other ones. Every, every now and then, maybe when it's stray, I miss people. But uh, XX, hit, oh, the, hit the bong 420 XX. Hit the bong 420XX. I'm not sure what that's a reference to, but thank you very much for subscribing. Borsenvin tipped $5. When you tell us about Beef Senior and seeing you play Stray, my heart oh, beats. Hi. It is pretty amazing, I have to say. I also want to thank Blurry Little Quest for gifting five tier one subs, as well as Kathy for gifting five subs. It really does... Uh, does help a lot and um, I want to make a little bit of an announcement here so there is uh, another sponsor that approached me every plate and I've uh, sampled the product and I gotta say it's awesome so I'm gonna do a whole demonstration of it I believe I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow as a bonus stream probably at noon my time Pacific time and I'm gonna teach you how to cook it this one's different it sends you all the ingredients and you make it and supposedly there's no way to really mess it up um, so I don't know I'm always cynical when I see that in uh, recipes or pretty much anything every time I've ever had somebody give me directions they say you know you're gonna see a large red building there's no way you can miss it I always miss it so I'm hoping that I don't uh, have any problems with this but uh, every plate is really good and so I'm gonna uh, teach you how to do that and um, I just can't believe it you know this is we're coming on the end of the year and I've been streaming and now I'm getting approached by sponsors and I've got uh, subs and cheers and clicks and ticks and all these things that I wouldn't have known what they were 
uh, years ago. And I have you to thank for it. So thanks very much. Uh, I also want to do more. I, I kind of dropped the ball on gaming with other streamers and other people. Uh, so I'm going to be doing some more of that because I'm seeing some names here like Style Cramps and Mochi's Nirvana, Bumble Vision, the LGX, Yusuf, uh, people that I've gamed with before. So I, uh, I want to pick that up again too. So maybe we'll go back to doing a bonus stream um and maybe why don't we to close uh i'll go ahead and do uh one last song here let's do um hmm let's see Yeah, I got it. Here. This is a song that I did last time, which was uh, kind of a hit, so I'm going to go ahead and do it again. I'm going to do the best that I can. The uh, lyrics are uh, a little complicated, and it's a little hard to see, even with my big monitor um, that I got because of your donations and subs and everything. So I thank you for that. Let's try to ease into the Christmas spirit with this Nat King Cole classic written by Mel Torme. It's a little jazzy, so uh, I hope that's not going to be triggering to people. Chess, nuts toasted on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping on your nose Tiny tots being sung by the choir And folks fall down like dominoes Everybody knows the turkey and the mistletoe the season bright Tiny tots with their arms all aflame will find it hard to sleep tonight They know that Santa's on his sleigh and he's got Lots of little boys and girls to play And every mother's child and sister too Is gonna see if reindeers really knows what to do Sorry, I can't And so I'm offering this special time from 1 to 93 Tiny tots Being hung by the fire Merry Christmas To me Thanks everybody I'm going to get the lyrics for that which reminds me, we should make tater tots at some point. Uh, as always, everyone, uh, I want to thank everybody, the moderators, Quanto, for your technical advice, as well as uh, Dingo Bob and everybody who works on the, the Discord. And um, everybody's just done an amazing job helping me and all, all the other streamers that have shown the Henry's Kitchen videos. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, let's all enjoy the rest of our week here. And I'll see you on, well, I'll probably see you tomorrow at noon Pacific time 
for a special bonus stream where I'm going to demonstrate how to make the every plate and um, join us won't you and then I will definitely also see you on Sunday at noon the regular time for um, Sunday Delicious. brunch Borson Ben donated five dollars thank you very much Borson Ben uh, blurry little quest Kathy Borson Ben XX hit the bong 420 XX which I still don't know what that means but uh but thank you guys very much and enjoy the rest of your week thanks as always and one one last time roast beef just can't get the stray backpack out of his mind because he had so many incredible experiences with it when he was a young kitten and I think that's just adorable so thanks everyone be good to each other and enjoy the rest of your week.